Today we're in Austin, Texas, getting ready to embark on a journey through a home with some of the most beautiful design elements I've seen at this price point. Say hello to 215 by Highland Homes. This exquisitely designed single story model boasts four bedrooms and three and a half bathrooms inside of 3,011 square feet and starts at approximately $755,000. The exterior of the 215 offers tons of curb appeal with its stunning brick facade, dramatic roof lines, and numerous windows. On the back side of the home, there are even more windows along with a really nice covered back patio which has those super cool automatic screens that we all like that help protect you from the element. If you would like more information on this model, you can find the link at the top of the description. But with that, let's go ahead and get along with the tour. All right, so as we step inside the door, this is the beautiful view that you're greeted with. I love this kind of archway right here as you walk into the great room. A lot of arches throughout this home, which I think looks super unique. But going ahead and turning you around, check out this front door. I love how open and just all the light that comes in. And I think that looks really, really sharp. You've got a chandelier hanging down with like this natural wood ceiling accent. I think that looks super sharp. Now there is so many things going on in this foyer as with all of these homes we've been touring. Uh, we'll go ahead and start over here to the right hand side as you walk in the door. You've got a nice big flex room space. It's got the glass pane double doors that kind of separate it from the foyer itself. But this one is set up as a fun office with a little sitting area back behind us. Again, I love the dark tones. I love all the floating shelves in here too. I think that looks really nice. Back behind us, you've got a really tall window. And then the floors, I'll go ahead and show you that. Kind of like this nice fawn color. I think they basically match what was on the ceiling that I just showed you. Then across the way, you've got the first bedroom. It's got another one of those. I really need to look up what those ceilings are called. Oh, but this is nice. I didn't know that it had, this room's got its own ensuite. So like a little junior suite, little in-law suite. It's got the single vanity, vanity lights toilet i like how the i just like how clean like the tile floor is it's got the little drop down and then the tile not quite going all the way up to the ceiling and a nice little walk-in closet not real big as far as walk-in size but still a good size closet And we're just gonna zigzag all the way through the foyer. <laughs> so on the, again, opposite side. This is the second one we've seen with this. It's uh, kind of like a little movie theater room. I guess it could just be like a bigger flex room. But I like this idea. I hate the ones that are in the basement. You know what I mean? For me, it always, it just, it's creepy. I would much rather have a, a theater room up here on the main floor. But again, I think this is going to be a feature throughout the home. Which I saw one of those, I was touring one the other day, and they actually ran the floor basically up the wall in the master bedroom and used it as the accent wall. But I thought it looked pretty cool. So you've got a nice big coat closet right here with plenty of storage right in the foyer. And then from there, we start working our way into all of the common areas. We've got our formal dining room right at the end of the foyer. Again, more great big windows, some dark accents. Fun little light fixture. Then from there, we come into the living room and this is the first one that I've toured here in Texas. Well, no, I take that back. We saw one the other day with a fireplace, but this one, I, it's, it, it reminds me more of a fireplace, you know what I mean? Because it's got the brick 
going all the way up to the ceiling. You've got this nice big thick mantle right here, brick hearth, gas fireplace. Love that. And then the living room itself, you know, it's nice and cozy. It's not uh, overly big. Everything is just kind of neatly tucked in here. Got some windows up above the TV. Then next to that, you've got kind of like your less formal dining room, maybe your breakfast nook. And then you've got some great big sliding glass doors that go out onto this back patio. Rose out here playing with us. Let's see if I can open it. There we go. He's playing with his rocks. Yeah, we're just chilling. <laughs> But you've got these uh, remote screens that drop down, which is cool. Very few homes that we've seen with that, but I like it, I think it's a cool feature. And they even go around over here on this side, the small uh, little pillar section. So that's cool. <laughs> he doesn't wanna, he's putting his rocks on the, on the plates. Uh, goofy kid. And then from there, you come into this beautiful kitchen. You've got this great big Long Island. I love the black. Not soft clothes, but again, I'm sure that's something that you could upgrade to. You've got the nice ball pendant lights hanging down over the top of it. You've got this beautiful apron farmhouse sink looking out into the living room. Then next to that is the dishwasher. Let's see what the storage looks like under here. They're pretty nice and deep. Then on the far end, you've got a little wine rack, little dry bar area with some nice glass pane cabinets on either side. It looks actually really nice. I like how it's backlit. Then next to that, it's going to be our pantry. Nice wood shelves in here. And then this is my favorite part. That range hood. I think that looks super sharp. And I want to get over here so you can see it too. Above it, the arch. Got the black cabinets, the backsplash going all the way up to the ceiling even above the top of the cabinets. Definitely not something that you typically see. Ooh, we found one, spice rack next to the stove. Is there two of them? I think there's two of them. Yes. Honestly, I haven't seen one in, a, in quite some time, but uh, you got your gas stove, then just a plenty more cabinets on this end. Then your refrigerator and even more cabinets, another built-in oven and microwave. So that's nice. You've got plenty of storage in here along with these cabinets and those cabinets. Then just off of the kitchen, you've got a little drop zone area right here because this doorway would be the access out into your garage. Right now it's currently set up as offices, so we're not gonna go in there, but this is where your uh, garage would be. Then all the way at the end of the hall, we're starting to get into the secondary bedrooms. This being the first of the two. And then this sits all the way on the far right hand side of the house as you're looking at it from the road. And in this closet, it's about the same as the one that we saw in the junior suite. Across the hall, this is pretty much the mirror image of the one we just came out of. I almost feel like the, these closets are a little bit bigger than the one in the, in the junior suite back there. Uh, just before the two bedrooms at the end of the hall, 
you've got the second full bathroom, you've got the double vanities, then all the way in the back, you've got this water closet with the toilet, and in the shower and tub combo, the black fixtures, nice tile. Somebody asked me in the comments, uh, what shower and tub combos, or I guess what tubs do we typically see in terms of brand? And to be honest, I don't ever pay attention. I guess I'll have to start. I didn't see a brand on that one, but um, laundry room just across from the garage access. You got washer dryer hookups right here, it's a shelf. You've got a wash basin, some cabinets, plenty of storage in here. And I do, I like this tile too. Then all the way at the back, you've got a nice linen closet. Now, we are going to go into this backwards, but from the laundry room, you do have access into the master closet. So that's kind of where we're going right now. And it is a gigantic walk-in closet. I like these homes that have been having the, the closet attached to the laundry room. I think that's super convenient. But then from there you come into the ensuite and this thing is gorgeous. I'll get you over so you can see a, get a good look at the tub and the shower, but you've got a little water closet right here with the toilet. And then let's get over here so you can, this is probably my favorite part. You've got this big old soaking tub, kind of a little cutout with almost like a marble tile going all the way up into that arch, you've got the glass looking into the shower. And then on one side, you've got a single vanity sitting next to a makeup vanity. And then on the opposite side, you just have the single vanity, but the vanity lights. And then around the corner, you've got this nice dark tile shower. I mean, that just looks like it's calm and relaxing like you can just go there and like unwind for a little bit then into this beautiful master bedroom you've got a little sitting area huge windows get you over here into this corner because we do have a sliding barn door I almost would expect it to be the color of all of the accent walls but I do like the white. I think the white does look better. I think it would be too much if uh, it was the color of the floors. But the room itself is nice. I like this accent wall right here. And just all of the windows that let in the light. Then you've got another door that goes out onto the patio right here. And then to the left, of course, takes you back to the dining room, but the right, you'll have a little powder room. So you got the pedestal vanity, the toilet, fun tile backsplash going all the way up to the ceiling. But this sits really close to like everything so people can come over this way. The only thing I really don't like about that is that they've got to come so close to your bedroom uh, to utilize the facilities. But other than that, let me know what you think about it down in the comments. If you want any more information on this model or Highland Homes, you can find that right there at the top of the description, or you can go over to timothyplivingston.com where you can search not only this floor plan, but all the floor plans that we've toured across the country. You can see if they're built in your area, and now you can finally start filtering based off of price. So with all that, thank you so much for taking the time to tour this home with me. My name is Timothy, and I look forward to seeing your beautiful face in the next one.